a numberful Wednesday, kids! Join me as we learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jurel, and welcome to our class. An engineer can use a formula to predict the pressure which can affect the strength of the bridge he creates. A chemist can calculate the pressure of a certain fluid within certain environmental conditions or in an artificial environment through the use of an equation. In all these situations, functions and relations are used for making predictions and wise decisions. For today's session, we will find the domain and range of functions. Are you ready, students? Come on! And let us begin our number four journey. Before we proceed to the lesson, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home with Viva's Happy Homeschool program. You may enroll in a standalone program in math. Just check the link in the description box to learn more. As we find the domain and range of functions, we will answer these three questions. First, what is domain? Second, what is range? Third, what are the things to remember in finding the domain and range of functions represented in graphs? Come on, let's start answering these questions. First, let's discuss domain and range. The domain of a function denoted by D is the set of all possible values of its first coordinates or x values. Meanwhile, the range of a function denoted by R is the set of all possible values of its second coordinates or y values. Now, take a look at these relations I will show you and give me the domain and range of each relation. Are you ready? Let's go! What is the domain and range of this relation? Good job! The set of domains are 11, 7, 5, and 3. Meanwhile, the set of range are 6, 4, and 2. How about this? Awesome! The set of domains are 1, 5, and 10, while the set of range are 1 and 5. Remember, even though 1 appears twice in the table, it is written only once when writing the range. Last one, can you give me the domain and range of this relation? Very good! The set of domain QR 1.5, 2.2, 3.4, 4.3, and 4.5. Well, the set of range Q are 2, 3, 4, and 5. Fantastic! Now, let's try finding the domain and range of functions represented in graphs. If the relation is graphed on the rectangular coordinate, we can find the domain by identifying all possible values of x. Thus, we need to specify which values can be excluded as inputs to the function. Take a look at these graphs. The graph extends infinitely in both directions. Therefore, the domain is the set of all real numbers. Domain is the set of all x such that x is an element of all real numbers. In interval notation, domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. The range is also the set of all real numbers. The range is the set of all y such that y is an element of all real numbers. In interval notation, range is from negative infinity to positive infinity. The graph extends infinitely upward. Therefore, the domain is a set of all real numbers. Domain is the set of all x such that x is an element of all real numbers. In interval notation, 
domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. The lowest point in the graph is 0 and negative 2, and all points on the graph are above this point. The range of the function is, range is the set of all y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 2. In interval notation, range is from negative 2 to positive infinity inclusive of negative 2. The graph extends infinitely upwards. The domain is the set of all real numbers. Domain is the set of x such that x is an element of all real numbers. In interval notation, domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. The lowest point in the graph is 3 and negative 3. And all points on the graph are above this point. The range of the function is range is the set of y such that y is greater than or equal to negative 3. In interval notation, range is from negative 3 to positive infinity inclusive of negative 3. The domain is from negative 5 to 6 inclusive of 5. The domain consists of all real numbers greater than or equal to negative 5 but less than 6. In interval notation, domain is from negative 5 to 6 including negative 5 but not including 6. The range is only restricted to 4 since all points have 4 as y coordinate. Range is the set of y such that y is equal to 4. The graph extends infinitely downwards. Therefore, the domain is the set of all real numbers. Domain is the set of x such that x is an element of all real numbers. In interval notation, domain is from negative infinity to positive infinity. The highest point in the graph is 3, 4, and all points on the graph are below this point. The range of the function is, range is the set of y such that y is less than or equal to 4. In interval notation, Range is from negative infinity to 4 inclusive of 4. Just remember that in using the interval notation, the bracket symbol implies the inclusion of the endpoint in the solution set, and the parenthesis symbol implies the non inclusion of the endpoints in the solution set. When the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, it is written in interval notation as n to positive infinity where n is any real number. That was fantastic, students! Now, let's go back to our three questions earlier. The domain of a function denoted by d is a set of all possible values of its first coordinates or x values. While the range of a function denoted by r is the set of all possible values of its second coordinates or y values. If the relation is graphed on the rectangular coordinate, we can find the domain by identifying all possible values of x. Thus, we also need to specify which values can be excluded as inputs to the function. Just remember that in using the interval notation, the bracket symbol implies the inclusion of the endpoint in the solution set, and the parenthesis symbol implies the non inclusion of the endpoints in the solution set. When the inequality symbol is greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, it is written in the interval notation as n to positive infinity, where n is any real number. You did great! I hope you learned a lot about domain and range today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help young learners like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Of course, to experience the magical learning at home, check out Vival's Happy Homeschool program. Check the description for the link. 
again, this is Teacher Jirel and see you on our next Numberful Wednesday. Thank you.